All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator 2. We're here in the workshop because we're gonna do a very special video, a video that we did uh, a few times with the original PC Building Simulator game. This is, what is the most expensive PC you can build in PC Building Simulator? Two. Now it's Peace Building Simulator 2. So uh, basically, we're using all the new parts and some of the parts that are gone or have changed or we, whatever. Basically, how expensive of a PC can we build in this game? Uh, yeah, we can do some stuff. So let's jump in. There's going to be, I mean, honestly, this was a ton of work. This was a ton of work to figure out exactly all the weird quirks between the first game, some common, common, commonality between the first game and this one, but also it's just some like weird differences and nuances and wonkiness and jankiness. And we're going to talk about it. Let's jump in. Uh, here we go. <laughs> it's going to be a ride. It's going to be a wild ride. Buckle in everybody. Get your popcorn. Uh, first of all, cases. So in Peace Bidding Simulator 1, every time the most expensive PC, it was in the Ragin' Tech Enyo. Every time. Uh, the big reason for that is it supports a lot of radiators. The Corsair Obsidian Series 1000D never really came close in the first one. It actually comes close in this one, but it, it does not make it. But it is very close. So we will hopefully circle back around and actually talk about that later. So the Ragin' Tech Enyo is still king barely 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 so uh let's start pulling this apart so we'll pull off the glass panels on the front the back the top the front the, the, the front there's two fronts there's there's two fronts i don't know how this works um okay region tech Enya, right here we go so what's great about this case we have support for one radiator on the back a second radiator on the back radiator up top one in the front one down here in the shroud so five total um which is which is a lot. Um, we can do as many radiators as in PC being similar to one. The problem here will be the type of radiators we can use. But before we get to radiators, let's jump in and do motherboard. Now, uh, what was always the most expensive in PC being similar to one was going with Threadripper because it was the most expensive. Here, the 3990X is only $1,530. In the previous games, it was $3,990. So, there's that, but we now have Intel's 12,000 generation, 12th gen, uh, 12900K, and with that we have the MSI Meg Z690 godlike motherboard, and it is $2,099, and because of that, it is the most expensive route. So we are going Intel 12th gen to build the most expensive PC and PC building center too. So there we go. We're already up to $2,599 because we got the case is $500 and our motherboard is almost $2,100. So there we go. Of course, the most expensive CPU because we do not have Intel's 13th gen, which does exist in real life, sort of just now. Uh, we only have 12th gen. So 12900K, that is a $795 CPU in this game. So there's that sealed away happy let's jump into storage storage is an interesting deal this motherboard is amazing for storage we've got an n.2 drive here we've got one there it's kind of in the way uh it's there's one there there's one here oh i'm sorry did i say one i meant one two three there are five m.2 drives on this motherboard so we've got rooms for lots of expensive storage which is really great because uh, this was actually added in a late update to the original PC being Simulator. The Team Group Cardea Zero 4 terabyte M.2 4 uh, SSD is $700 in this game. I don't remember what it was in the original, but it's $700 here. So we're gonna go ahead and slap as much of that in as we can. Let's put one here and let's put three here. One there, one there, and oh, I don't know, maybe another one here. So we were up to four of those. I would love to put one here. That would be wonderful, but I can't. I don't know why. It it certainly supports an M.2 of this length. Um, this is a little bit, I think we're seeing a little bit of weird PC building similar to stuff. So let's go to the second most expensive option, uh, down to $440, the A-Data XBG Spectrix. This is at a two terabyte and that one does fit. So sadly, we'll have to go with that. So now we're at $6,634 with all of our M.2 storage installed. While we're on the subject of storage, let's just keep going with storage and let's go with SSDs because we have room for four two and a half inch SSDs and the Corsair 4 Series 960 gig is still absurdly expensive for what it is. It's $350 each. I don't know why it's so expensive and you can tuck them down here. 
and we can connect them all. And actually, this M or this uh, this SSD is the one reason that the Corsair Obsidian Series 1000D, which I actually have over here, is almost able to compete, is because this supports a massive eight on the back. Now the problem is you can only connect six, and I'm not gonna count it if you can't connect it. So because of that, it just loses. But if not for that limitation of six uh, SATA ports, SATA data ports on this motherboard, the Corsair Obsidian Series 1000D would win by my calculation. So anyway, we've got our four Corsair M.2, or uh, um, sorry, two and a half inch SSD drives down here. They're $350 each. And so that's like, uh, what, like a uh, quick math, uh, $1,400, something like that, I think. Yeah, $1,400 total just across those. Um, yeah, we're up to $8,034 so far. Uh, things are going well. Let's keep going on the motherboard here. We, because this is a DDR5 uh, chipset and a DDR5 motherboard, we can put DDR5 RAM in. It's the first time DDR5 has debuted in PC Building Simulator, and it is expensive, which is wonderful for what we're trying to do right now. So we can put in the team group, T4 Delta RGB, 16 gig, 6400 megahertz kit, and we can do four of these. They are $1,120 each, which means we are gonna put in $4,480 of memory into this computer, which is, um, it just feels sort of, sort of, sort of gross, but uh, let's do it. For, for the sake of getting this to be expensive, it's super worth it. So now we are up to $12,514. Uh, things are happening. Uh, let's see, what should we do now? Graphics cards? Why not? Graphics cards, there's some weird stuff here. Um, we go into water cooling thinking, of course, our most expensive graphics cards are going to be in water cooling, right? The most expensive one is the $2,000 RTX 3090 for the Win 3 Ultra from EVGA with a water block. Wonderful. There's actually more expensive cards that aren't here. I'm sorting high to low on cost, by the way. If you just go to PC parts and then graphics cards, you'll see a few more water-cooled cards that I don't know why they're in here and not in the water-cooled section. I don't understand. We have the ROG Strix RTX 3090, and it's $2,090. Now, what's funny, and this blew my mind and confused me a lot, um, the regular standard Strix RTX 3090 is also $2,090. The water block costs $100, so we're getting a free water block here, apparently. Um, we are and we aren't because when we put it in, we are and we aren't. And there's also another weird thing. So anyway, we're going to put one in, right? So we get charged our $2,090 for our RTX 3090 water cooled. And then we also will have a water block stuck on here for $100, which is sort of disingenuous. I don't know how you'd know that. Um, I feel like I'm going to blow clients' budgets this way. Hopefully, I don't, we'll see, uh, in, in the story mode. So uh, I guess weird but i sort of okay fine i guess there's a water block hundred dollars down here didn't know that was coming but there it is now what's funny is if we add a second rtx 3090 there's we don't we don't get charged for another water block it's still just the one we just have the one water block i don't know it's like you get charged for the first one the second one's free i don't know why and then you know you get charged for the two thousand ninety dollars for the rtx 3090 so i don't know this you can this is why this was a hard video to make because i'm already finding so many weird weird things about pc building Simulator 2 and it's hilarious and delightful and frustrating and horrible and it's a lot of things all at once but anyway that is that so we are now up to sixteen thousand seven hundred ninety four dollars so um i also wanted to say i think the most expensive pc ever built in pc building Simulator 1 was like just over 20k i think it was like twenty thousand. 200 bucks or something like that i can't remember honestly like things things moved around a little bit it got kind of weird um some that's just sort of our benchmark i would say that things don't equate like i mean the the threader for 3990 uh, 3990 x is a perfect example like that cpu costs very different amounts of money between the games so like peace building simulator one money is not the same as peace building simulator two money but anyway as a benchmark that's where we were at peace building simulator one if you want to see if we can beat it let's see Let's keep going. Let's keep going and see if we can build it. Let's go on to water cooling and water cooling is a whole thing. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. And uh, we got a lot to talk about. Um, what you will see right away sorting cost high to low on radiators is that our most expensive radiator from the original piece of the is missing. It's the 480 mil rad from Corsair. It is gone. 
and I am sad because that was a nice way to bump the amount of the amount of money we're putting in the bills. I don't remember how much it was. It was at least 450. So the most expensive radiator hair you have now again is the Ragin Tech Calore C360D, which is a Fat Boy 360 mil radiator. So uh, we can put we can put this in. So let's let's do it. What is cool? You can actually rotate. Whoa, that was fun. You can rotate your radiators in piece fitting center too, which is really helpful for like making sure your fittings are in a good position. So hey let's celebrate that because that is exciting like i'm going to put the fittings over here to save me hopefully some misery uh very soon we try to plumb all this it is possible how will it go on this on this try i have no idea it might be absolutely horrible who knows this game is scary uh let's put our fittings uh, oh geez oh, 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 oh there you go let's put our fittings up there okay so we've got one two on the back one two there and we can put a fifth radiator in this build down here and i'm gonna leave our fittings on this end that is what i've done before and that's worked so that's our radiators five c360 d's 400 dollars each uh so that's what two two thousand dollars in 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 those i think wait one two three four five five yeah five thousand dollars in those radiators so that's cool uh let's see we can do while we're doing water cooling, I guess we can do reservoirs. Um, this is a whole thing too. So normally this case supports two reservoirs, which is cool. It's fun. You can do dual loops. Maybe we could get a, ooh, maybe, oh man. Oh man, now now I'm already questioning what I'm doing. See, now I'm questioning, okay, whatever. Again, this is this is my first try, the most expensive PC, uh, PC, PC in this game. We'll see. I don't necessarily think that this is going to be totally it. There's going to be some weird, some weird little issue here. But anyway, so I did this like I've normally done it, right? Where I run this all as one single loop between everything. And it doesn't work. It will tell you that your loop isn't filled, that you need to fill your loop. And so I've had to remove one of these res, pump reses. But I wondered if I ran a CPU loop and a GPU loop, maybe I could do it actually. I haven't tried that. I don't really wanna try that right now because I'm scared of this game and I'm very afraid of what kind of shenanigans it will pull. But potentially in a follow-up video, maybe that will be a way to make this just a little bit more expensive than it is now. So for now, because of that issue that wasn't that it was not present in the first game, we're going to remove one pump res, which is sad because those are some amount of money, uh, four hundred twenty dollars. So that's not insignificant. So we're gonna run one. Maybe we could make that work, but I can't get them to run in series, and it freaks out and acts like the loop isn't full. It's super weird. So we're gonna run the one. Bummer. Um, okay, that's. That's water cooling. That's that's water cooling. While we're on the on the subject of cooling, I guess we can just throw a couple case fans in here. The most expensive case fans are still well. There are a few. There's a. This is our most expensive 120. There are some 200 mil MSI fans that you can't see right now. You can't chain. I don't know if you can turn off the feature where it doesn't. Oh, fits this PC is in here. Yeah, there's these 200 mil MSI mag fans. Does not apply. But anyway, sixty dollars. Most expensive case fans, and we have room to put one here and one. Yeah, which is really random and not super helpful, but we're gonna do it because we're trying to make an expensive computer. Uh, there's no room for case fans anywhere else. They do not fit here. They do not fit there. They don't fit anywhere. They don't fit here. So, okay, that's that. That's our parts, $19,334. We still have CPU cooler to figure out. Now we could do a water block. The problem is because we're doing Intel 12th gen, there are not very many water blocks and they're very cheap. $80 is the most expensive water block that fits LGA 1700, which is not that much. Like before we were doing with like $400 water blocks or something like that. Like what is the most expensive water block? Uh, yeah, $420. Like that's what we were using is the, the Threadripper uh, Ragin Tech block, $420. So instead of doing an $80 water block, we are gonna go with an air cooler uh, because it's more expensive. So back to PC parts, CPU cooling. We are gonna go with the Ice Giant Pro Siphon Elite. But before we do that, because this game is annoying and I'm finding that the piping component of water cooling is like more, un <laughs> I wanna say more unforgiving, but that's not true 
because in some ways it's much more forgiving. Like let's just let's just let's just start going here and let's just see what happens here. Um, I'm actually pretty nervous to see how this step goes because yeah, it's it's actually pretty terrifying how how janky this has gotten. Um, and watch, this is gonna all just connect perfectly and I'm gonna eat my words, which actually I'd be totally happy with. I would not complain at all. But this has been a particularly problematic bend for me. Um, really problematic connection. Let's go here to here. That's worked actually really well. It's weird because it's really, it doesn't care. It's like, well, no, straight through the case. Nothing matters here. I don't know if you can, you can see that. Ah, you know, we'll just go through the case. Like who cares? Nothing that, but then it's really, really weirdly picky in other ways that it wasn't, it wasn't like this in the, in the first game. Um, so we need to make this connection here because we're not going to do water block on the CPU and we're going to have this gigantic ice giant pro siphon elite and it's a huge goofy water uh goofy air cooler um so we are gonna have to go with rigid piping for this one so that i can hopefully bend this into something that works so what i find is that if i get this way up and away from the graphics card it will work and i need to put this in first we're gonna frame around this ice giant can you see it can you picture it can you visualize it we're just gonna go through the case because nothing matters but some stuff doesn't matter uh, I'm hoping that that is going to get us around the ice giant. And then let's put on our thermal paste. Oh, geez. There you are. Oh, da, 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 there you go. A little thermal paste. Okay. Sufficient thermal paste has been applied. CPU cooling. Ice giant pro siphon elite. Um, crazy, crazy air cooler. I forget what the technologies that this uses. And it actually just fits. So cool. We framed around it. The only reason I know that this had to happen is because I tried this a lot and it was terrible. Now I look like a professional. Trust me, it was not easy. Um, anyway, okay, so cool. Everything's connected. That's wonderful. Let's do some cabling. Cabling, uh, I have the, I, I don't have any of the automatic cabling turned on and I wouldn't recommend that you do if you're trying to build anything in the Ragent Tech Enyo, truthfully, because it's just kind of a hot mess. Um, oh, power supply. Wait, we can't, we can't go yet. We got to do a power supply. The most expensive power supply still. The Cooler Master Master Watt Maker 1200 MIJ. It's a 1200 watt power supply. It's randomly $999. It's really, really, really expensive. And uh, it's the same in this game. You can install in both power supply slots, but only one. One, you can do either one, but only one. Does that make sense? I can't install a second power supply is what I'm trying to say, unfortunately. Um, and you cannot still install a second computer in the bottom of the Obsidian Series 1000D like you can in real life. Because in real life, you can put like a mini ITX computer down here on the PSU and pull this. You can pull the PCI lock out and everything. It's like it's it's there. It wants you to do it and you can't do it. You can't put a motherboard here at all in the game. Just by the way, uh, fun fact. Fun fact, it has not changed, sadly. Okay, cabling. Let's cable. Let's connect our motherboard to our power supply. Let's connect our motherboard to our power supply again. Uh, okay, uh, da, 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 da. shouldn't be too, this is actually, I think cabling has gotten much more forgiving in my quick time with the game so far. Um, let's see, case to motherboard. Let's get, I really wanna get my radiators figured out because they tend to be the most finicky. We're gonna daisy chain as much as we can. So this radiator to this radiator. Let's go this radiator around back to that one. Yeah, this is just, this is much more forgiving than it used to be. This used to be really, really finicky and, and, and very difficult to get to work. And the daisy chaining just was a kind of a nightmare, but it's much better now, so. That's exciting. It makes building in this case significantly better and running out of like fan headers doesn't seem to be so common. Okay, so graphics cards are connected. Now we're just connecting the SATA drives to the motherboard and the PSU. And then we're good. So, I mean, the fact that I was able to just connect on the fly, if you've ever built in this case in the first game, uh, yeah, it's a big deal because it was not, not doable. In the first game it was really hard i had a lot of people ask me how do you do this and I'd be like well you can do it you have to go through these very specific steps and jump through these weird hoops and you can do it um okay so that's everything connected we are piped let's throw some coolant in because it's going to take a little while to to run through the system we're going to do purple opaque because it's pretty i guess so there it goes out a reservoir down to our bottom radiator. It's gonna go up through our GPUs, up and around our big, junky, weird 
dorky CPU cooler around our back radiators, back around to the front, to the top, to the front, and back into the reservoir and be good to go. Um, we are at $20,523, and that is where we will end. That is our total. $20,523, I believe that is more expensive than any computer I built in the first game. For what it's worth, again, they're really not apples to apples, but <laughs> for the headline, we did it. We beat the first game. We did it, uh, and we should be able to power on. We do not have an OS installed, so we have you know no OS, no OS installed. But um, we, yeah, we did, we did it. Like it works. That's so. That's kind of that's where I'm at with most expensive PC. Um, again, just to show you, so 20,523, right? Remember that number, 20,523. The most expensive computer I could build in the Ragin Tech, oh, sorry, wow. The Corsair uh, Obsidian Series 1000D, 20,423, $100 less. And that is really because I think they've kind of broken fan support in this game. So, or in, in, yeah, in this game for this case, because before I believe in the first game, you could slide out this 140, this, this triple 140, fan mount here there's also 120 fan mounts in the top you could pull that out and you could do more stuff with radiators um we can't do that which is which is really lame oh actually this is also the wrong radiator so wait 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 please don't tell me this is i don't think it's gonna matter it's gonna be closer but it's not gonna be perfect 2453 Oh, geez. Blue screen. Don't give me that. 20,523. 20,453. I mean, those are so close. And it's really because this can support a few more, well, two more SSDs. Two more of these expensive $350 SSDs. Um, but it has less radiator support. Geez. Um, so it's close, but not better. And I can't put the ice giant in this either because it's it wants to go this way and it's just never gonna fit. So there's just a couple dis disadvantages there. Uh, what what happened here, computer? I ran into this a lot before, but it was usually because the CPU wasn't cool enough. And I so I don't know why that's happening. Um, stability seems to be a bit iffy. What's our temp? I mean, our temps are fine. I don't know why it. I don't know why it blue screened. It will blue screen if it sits for a while, though, which is super interesting. Um, even though we do have power headroom and I don't overheat the CPU, it will blue screen sometimes when it just sits, which is sort of concerning. And I haven't tried to benchmark it, and I don't know if it will pass a benchmark. I don't know if it will pass a benchmark at all. Uh, who wants to find out? Uh, I guess honestly, too, we we also could set our XMP settings for our RAM in the BIOS. I guess we might as well. Uh, this RAM is very fast. Let's not leave it at 4,800 megahertz. Let's take it to 6,400 at least. Um, I'm watching this restart. Yep, cool. So now our RAM's running super fast. That's good. We, I'll try to do OCCT. We'll see. I think it's at least stable enough to sit here for a bit. I don't know why it crashes when it's sitting. It's weird, super weird. I don't, I don't understand it. Um, so our test starts here. Honestly, temps are okay on the CPU. 73 C under a stress test, that's solid. Uh, we have a 1200 watt power supply. We will bump up over a thousand watts, but I don't think we will, I don't think we'll overload that power supply. Though I don't know if I've sat here long enough to really tell. Maybe we will. 950, 965, whoa, 1037, don't do it. Are we good? I think we're safe. 1040? I think we're... 1055, okay, I don't know if we're safe. Maybe if it sits long enough, maybe eventually, I, I mean, 1200 watts though. Um, maybe, I mean, it crashes for some reason. Um, let me try, uh, just so you guys don't have to sit here and watch the benchmark, I'm going to try to, to run 3D Mark and we'll see if we're successful. So be right back with that. All right, we did manage to actually complete a test. 29,059 points for our 1200K and dual RTX 3090s. Not too shabby until we get 13, 13th gen and uh, RTX 40 series, right? That's that's uh, pretty good. It only cost us $20,523. So there it is. That is my 
take an attempt on the most expensive PC you can build in PC Building Simulator 2. Like I said, there could probably be, um, there might be a couple tweaks. We might be able to run two loops, run a dedicated CPU loop and a GPU loop to get over this issue of not being able to run two, uh, two, two reservoirs. So there might be a couple things we can do to potentially increase that cost just a little bit, but I would love to hear your thoughts or if you have any ideas on how you can make this PC more expensive and, uh, yeah, there it is. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy, you want to see more videos of PC Building Simulator 2 or any other games I've been playing, be sure to subscribe. And either way, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.